What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It has been quite a while, it's been over a month since I last uploaded. A lot of things happened, I was just out and about doing a lot of things, you know, living life, went bald, started university. So yeah, but let's get straight into it. Started university and I was wondering what is it going to be like using Linux at university and so far the experience has been okay. It, like I thought it might be worse, you know, I wasn't exactly 100% sure what it's going to be like, but so far it's been okay and I just wanted to share my experience. Maybe you'll gain some insight, what to expect, what problems you may face, and yeah. Now, first of all, I am currently studying computer science. So depending on what course you do, you're going to require different programs and different, you know, things. So it may be different in, you know, it's different based on what course you're going to do and what programs are needed. Now, for computer science, Honestly, there's very little programs you have to download um, besides like IDEs. So like I have a Java class where I have to download IntelliJ and I have a like computer systems class where I have to download uh, Logisim, which essentially like you can make circuits and stuff. Now, both of these, I had a slight issue where when you try and load it up, it's just a blank screen, but you just have to put some command into your ZishRC, like export this Java thing and then it just works. So it's really it. The only thing is I can't load it up from D menu or like an application launcher. I have to go into the terminal then type it in because it's in my Zish RC. So that's the only thing. But besides that, it works fine. And the big issue, or like initially when I first started uni, the big issue I had was Wi-Fi. And Linux is kind of like notorious that you're gonna have some Wi-Fi issues. It's just, especially on a laptop, a laptop, it might be that you can't even have Wi-Fi. You might have to replace the card or something. It just doesn't work well because it's often proprietary. It's not open source. So there's no way to really make it. And, and usually the Wi-Fi cards don't even develop for Linux or only halfway or something like that. So that's usually a big issue for people. But for me, what happened was, and if you go to uni, you'll probably have the same thing where most universities have some kind of like campus, like portal, Wi-Fi portal or whatever where you can access Wi-Fi if you connect through a valid username and password, which usually they'll say, okay, connect with your unique student username and then your password, and then you should connect to the campus Wi-Fi. The problem is, is how, at least how my setup was, maybe if you use a slightly different setup, then it'll be fine. But my setup, I use a network manager, and I think inherently, like if you're trying to connect through, let's say, a network manager uh, terminal UI, so like NM2E, if you try to connect through that, you don't have that option of putting in that uh, username and password. So you have to like kind of like connect, but then like you kind of have to add the connection yourself and then add, check some specific uh, boxes and then put in your username and password. And then, I don't know, one day it just, it kind of worked like it just typed in everything right, did it and then it was all good. But before that day, I had to hotspot and I wasn't exactly sure. I'm like, damn, like does the Wi-Fi just not work for me? Like this is going to be very annoying, but... It works fine, and yeah, that's it's pretty good. Um, for my setup, I use the, like the exact same setup I use um, in my videos, Arch Linux with DWM, just some slight modifications with DWM, but it's like, it's the exact same. It's the exact same setup. The only thing I've found is that, I'll show you right now, my laptop, let's have it right here, ThinkPad E15, and it works fine, battery life is fine, Last about the whole day. However, you know, I'll be, I'll be doing some work. I open it, blah, 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 blah. I'll close it. And then sometimes when I close it and then reopen it, it just, this, like, it just gets destroyed. Like it just freezes up, doesn't respond. And I just have to restart the entire laptop. So I don't know why some issue with it going into suspend or hibernate when you close the laptop, but if I had that, it's not an insane issue, but you just have to make sure you save everything. So if you have to restart your computer, you're fine. But besides that, it's overall been fine, I would say. With um, university, I've had some assignments so far, and one of them is like a math class, and you, there's some problems, and you just have to solve them, you know, it's just math. And I've been doing it through LaTeX because I did another assignment, which was also there was like some writing to do, and I did that in Google Docs. And phew, it's a pain. Honestly, if you're going to be doing any sort of writing, this is kind of like slightly off topic but like if you're going to do any sort of writing in a university like paper just use LaTeX because it might seem 
annoying. You have to learn some th- learn some stuff. It's a bit of a learning curve. But if you use LaTeX and Vim, and it doesn't even need to be Vim, but like these two combinations, just so powerful for editing like a whole bunch of stuff, especially if you're doing like a lot of data. There was one where I was doing like Boolean functions. It's like X1, X2, X3, not X1. Just doing it by hand in Google Docs is just so hard. Like you can just do macros and it'll just be like very quick, but but yeah. <laughs> so honestly, that's what I'd recommend is that try not to waste your time with Google Docs because it's like, and maybe probably Word is just as bad. Um, so that's how I've been writing my assignments when I need to, just LaTeX. But besides that, it's been fine. I'm guessing there will probably be some kind of program that I'm going to have to download that might be a pain or might not be supported, but overall I think it'll probably be fine. And honestly, I, I'd suspect that if you're doing a course such as like maybe like engineering, that Linux may be less suitable. Cause I remember reading on Reddit about like Linux at university that some people say, oh yeah, like, and I'm not dual booting. That's the thing. I'm not switching between Windows and Linux. I just have Linux and that's it. I'd imagine that if you're like doing engineering, you might want to do Windows and uh, Linux because you might have to use programs such as like I don't know, Fusion 360, which I know is like proprietary, closed source, and it's definitely only available on Windows, not Linux. So I'm sure there's certain programs like that, like AutoCAD and all that, that would probably, you definitely need Windows in like an engineering course. Other courses off the top of my head, I'm not sure, probably like anything else would probably be fine. You could probably do the same things, but maybe engineering, if you're thinking about that, then probably at least have a dual boot. I, I kind of just took the risk. I'm like, you know, I'm not going to dual boot. I just wiped the entire computer and just put on Linux. So it's the risk I'm taking because maybe there's a program I won't be able to use on my laptop, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.